Hi, I'm Julie, keeper of my home. Welcome back. We've reached the end of the pantry challenge. It's the last week and we did it. I feel like we could probably go another full month, but I think my husband's tired of it. <laughs> I think he misses going to the grocery store. He loves grocery stores. I want to just review everything with you. I'm not going to be repetitive and, and go over the same things I've been going over. I will show you a couple of meals that we did this week, but I do want to show you our pantry, our uh, you know freezers, storage refrigerator, root cellar, all of those things, and um, just show you what they look like and what kind of a dent we've made out of them. Right now, I am going to show you just a couple meals that we had through the week, and I'll get right into showing you what our pantry looks like. This is baked chicken with some sweet potato, happens to be our very last sweet potato, and some barbecue baked beans that my husband made. The chicken baked away in the wood cook stove all day long, and it was delicious. And I also whipped up a quick gravy from the drippings of the chicken, and it was a very good meal. This meal was probably one of our favorites because we haven't had it in a very, very long time. This is leftover baked chicken, and what we did was we cut it up into pieces. He's going to show you here the size piece, about that size. Nothing big, but, you know, just a, a chunk. He's dipping this into pancake batter, and then we are frying it in coconut oil. We would started out thinking we were going to use shortening or lard, but then we decided probably coconut oil would be the healthier choice of oils. <laughs> this is the actual pancake batter that we used to um, dip these in. It's been on our pantry shelf for quite a while. It has not expired, but uh, I looked at it and if we did not use it on this night, it probably would have expired. So we dipped those in there and I'm telling you, this was a really delicious meal. We liked this a lot. And as you can see here, we had it with some fries, some onion rings and leftover barbecue baked beans. We had two birthdays this week, so we had a little birthday barbecue um, with was our son and our grandson both this week. So barbecue baked beans, uh, our son brought some asparagus and cooked that on the grill with some seasonings and some um, Parmesan cheese. It was very delicious. I love asparagus, it's my favorite vegetable. So that was grilled. Someone brought a broccoli salad, that was delicious and some steak and some country style ribs, barbecue sauce, those were really good, some potatoes that we grilled, and also potato salad. Everything was delicious and the celebration was very, very nice. All really good meals. And the birthday celebration, our grandson turned 16. He's five foot. 11 and a half inches and he wears a size 13 shoe. I can't believe, I cannot believe that child has grown so much. So let's move on and I'll show you what our pantry, freezers, all of that stuff looks like. Well, I'm hoping it's not too dark down here, but this is our downstairs um, pantry, the one in the basement. You can see we really haven't made a huge dent. There's still so many jams and jellies on that top shelf. There's still a lot of green beans. There's some soups, some chicken broth, some canned chicken, pineapple. There's pie filling and also some more um, cranberry applesauce and pear sauce. There are lots of pickles here. There's some beets tomato, canned tomatoes and tomato sauce, and pie filling, and more greens over there. So we still have quite a bit here, and you know, this year we plan on canning so much more, so we have not, literally have not had a problem eating from our own food stores for two months. This is our meat freezer. You can see we um, have made quite a dent in this. 
there is uh, a few um, pork things in here and there's chicken um, a whole chicken there and this is I think it's a chicken carcass for bone broth this is all our beef and there's also moose meat deer meat fresh beef it's all I mean it's frozen but it's fresh meat not store-bought um, there are two things of store-bought over here and this is a shell filled with chicken uh, carcasses and um, bits and bobs for um, all for bone broth and down here there is all pork chops and pork uh, meat so uh, hopefully you guys can see this the lights not good down here there's lots of um, butter here there's more stuff on the shelf here there's all kinds of fresh trout frozen um, there's a container of soup here so there's still lots more here in this freezer this freezer is in our storage refrigerator again we have lots of butter here we have more um, vegetable scraps in here that we are using for um, bone broth and, and such uh, more scraps here for bone broth this is leftover uh, ham broth from ham at Christmas time uh, there is some frozen shredded carrots and then we have some nuts and coconut and lots of fruit back there and there are some uh, packages of fresh meat and there is a large package of yeast for when I make bread. Down here you can see there's no shortage of eggs which reminds me I've got to show you something else. Uh, this is uh, more bone broth. There's turkey and chicken and this is more cranberry uh, pear cranberry applesauce and this is juice cranberry uh, pear apple juice and these are our carrots, our storage carrots. Now we did have two shelves of these and we're down to one and we did grate quite a few and threw them into the freezer and I'll, I'll show you some more of those in our other freezer. Again, more butter. We still have some shredded cheese and we have a container of juice that we keep for the girls when they come visit. Okay guys, this is the freezer that I feel like we didn't make a dent out of. I feel like we kept giving back to this freezer. The more we took out of it, the more we gave back. We made so much applesauce, so there's tons of applesauce. And again, we shredded a lot of our carrots and, okay, these are a full measuring cup full of shredded carrots. They're all like cup size, frozen that way individually because I can measure them. When we make carrot cake, when we make, um, any sweet breads, zucchini breads, throw in shredded carrots with it. It's all measured. So I do like to freeze them that way. Um, it's an idea if you have never done this before. You can also freeze them. These are the jumbo muffin tins. You can freeze them in a regular size muffin tin. I'd say that's about a half a cup. And uh, they freeze really well. And like I said, they're all measured out for you. So it just makes it a lot easier. This is frozen broccoli we still have to use. We still have some cauliflower. This has been in here a while and I do need to use it. Underneath here and underneath the, that part down there, tons of apples and bananas need to be used. These are more apples, more applesauce, more shredded carrots. Um, we have gravy. We have turkey left over from Thanksgiving. There's just a lot in here um, that still can be eaten. So that is that freezer. Our root cellar onions, you can see there's not a lot left here. And garlic, there's a few, few left in here. Not a lot. Here are the uh, onions. I think there are more skins than they are anything here. I think this one's pretty much empty. This one has a few in it. So we're running pretty low on onions and we have some more upstairs as well that we keep on hand. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you that I have not shown you through this whole pantry challenge and I keep telling my husband, I said, I don't know why I haven't shown that. So I'm showing you. These are water glassed eggs. Our chickens have not 
always laid every day throughout uh, this winter. So I last year had water glassed eggs. So we eat from these every now and again. Uh, this is just a five gallon pail. And I don't know how many dozen eggs are in here because it's, you can see it's almost to the top. There's quite a few dozen eggs in here. And if you've never had water glassed eggs, you would not know the difference between these and a fresh egg. The end of September, first part of October is how long they've been down here. We use a lot of the water glass eggs here at home. And you know, when our chickens aren't laying as much, we, I know that we always have eggs for baking or cooking or whatever we need them for. And you know, you really can't tell the difference. Um, we do sell a lot of our fresh eggs when we do have them. That offsets the cost of the food that we have to buy for the chickens. And uh, if you are water glassing your eggs, you want to make sure that you wash them thoroughly after you've pulled them out of the solution. It's a pickling lime solution um, and water. There's a certain um, measurement that you put in there and you keep your eggs in there. They will keep for up to two years, although I don't think that I would keep them that long. Um, for us, they're just to supplement us through the winter when our chickens are not laying. Also, I would tell you that if you're taking your eggs from the water glass um, pail or jar, whatever you're putting them in, if you desire to water glass your eggs, I would do a test to, to make sure that your eggs are good. The water test, you put the egg in a glass of water. If the egg floats, then the egg is bad. If it sinks, the egg is perfectly fine to use. I have not had one floater yet. So the eggs have all been good. And like I said, it's been since uh, the end of September, first part of October, I believe, that um, we put our last eggs in there. And any eggs you do put in there, any eggs that we put in there, you always wanna make sure they're that day's eggs, fresh and clean. No dirty eggs, no old eggs. Just all fresh, clean eggs. So just a little bit about water glassing if that interests you. And uh, next time I do it, I'll make sure I bring you along so I can show you exactly the, the process of mixing it up and putting the eggs in. As for what I have learned from this pantry challenge, well, I think that I need to look to my freezers before I go shopping. I need to do that more, definitely need to do that more. That last big freezer that I showed you, that is so full. You could see the frost. I mean, we need to unload everything and just defrost that freezer because it's it's crazy how full it is, really. If you're not using everything that you buy and store in your freezers or in your pantries or in your larder, wherever it is you store your food, you are wasting food. And I don't want to waste food. So going forward, we definitely need to be more mindful. So I guess I would say to sum it all up, that is what we learned from this year's pantry challenge. And I, I do look forward to doing it next year again. So thank you for joining me today and through this whole pantry challenge, I hope you gained um, some new recipes, uh, a little bit of knowledge of something maybe you didn't know before. And as always, subscribe if you're new, and until next time. Mm -hmm.